Bubble gum gum in the bum bum. Is it possible for somebody to blow a gum bubble out of their butt? Is it? Google blowing bubbles with your butt. Oh, that's something. <laughs> that's something. Don't Google that. Apparently, many people have tried. There's like a whole Reddit thread. <laughs> okay. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. As you guys know, we do infusion videos here. And I use the word infusion very loosely. Speaking of butts. <laughs> Not mine. Hello, can the sun come back? Please, can the sun come back? God, I promise I won't talk about loose butts anymore. That's a lie, but he don't gotta know that. God, I swear. There we go, the sun's back. I lied. What are we doing? Bubblegum cocktails. Hi. Ever since I started doing infusion videos here on YouTube, many people in the comments have asked me to do bubblegum infusions, because I know I do the candy videos, I've done the gummy videos, now it's time for bubblegum. But bubblegum is very broad, like a butt. I need, I need the light. And usually infusing bubblegum with vodka is very simple. You literally just let it sit in the glass of vodka for about five days. But there's so many different types of bubblegum, which bubblegum will give you the best product? Because if you're gonna waste five days on this, you're gonna want it to be good. Where is the light going? I act like I don't own a light. <laughs> anyway, what brand of bubblegum is the best to infuse with vodka. So that's what we're gonna find out today. And I went to Twitter and asked you guys to submit which brands of bubblegum you would like to see me use for this video. And you guys said, bubblegum for days. Greg from How to Drink said bazooka bubblegum, obviously. So of course, you know we gotta listen to Daddy Greg. We also had people request double bubble bubblegum, double bubble, double blub, blub. That's a mouthful. I'm not gonna do it. There was also Trident bubblegum requested a lot and Hubba Bubba bubblegum, of course. We don't have any extra of those because I put them in my body. And the wild card bubblegum that a lot of you requested is fruit strips. They used to have this a lot when I was a kid. I didn't think you guys remembered this. Do, do, like, do the young kids chew this? Gen Z, you putting this in your mouth? And I know this is old because it's dusty. <laughs> I'm surprised they have it in this quantity still available. I didn't know they still made it. But out of all these options, take your guesses now in the comments and let me know what you think is gonna be the best one to infuse with vodka and see if it matches up with my own personal opinion for the end result. Okay, let's go ahead and get stuck. Ah! There's a sponsor. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Atlas VPN, the best way to protect yourself on the internet. And we all know I'm all about protection. Condoms, safe sex, same thing. How does it protect you, you might be wondering? Well, let me, just let me tell you, let me tell you, calm down. Atlas VPN protects your privacy by encrypting data and changing your location to wherever you would like it to be. Why is this important? Because if you're someone like me who talks a lot of shit, sometimes you don't want everybody to know exactly where you are at all times. If I'm in some internet YouTube beef or if I'm talking shit about somebody from a reality show, maybe I don't want them to know I'm picking up cookies on Santa Monica Boulevard at the moment. It also comes in handy for your entertainment. For example, sometimes I wanna watch shows on Netflix that aren't available in my country. But with Atlas VPN, I can change my location and watch shows that are in other areas around the world. All you have to do is literally open the app, choose your location and connect to it, and you are set. You are protected and hidden. You could be anywhere in the world without having to buy a plane ticket. Atlas VPN is the best VPN deal on the market and has the best speed overall. It protects you on multiple devices and prevents things like ads and malware. All on a good dime. And right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge deal which will give you three years protection for just $1.99 a month. That's less than a cup of coffee. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You can do a 30 day trial and return it if you're unsatisfied. Did you hear that? Cause I want to make sure you heard me. Right now, Atlas is running a discount. Three year protection for just $1.99 a month. And time is running out. So be sure to click the link in the description below. And I'm all about protection and saving money. So be sure to click the link in the description below and sign up now. Thank you so much to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Now back to it. Wow, wasn't that amazing? Now, when I infused candy on this channel, I was able to put it all in the vodka the same day. However, I knew I had to plan for this because the shit needed to sit in the vodka for five days. So I went ahead and pre-did that. And this is what we got. These whores look fun, except for this one. We're gonna talk about this one in a minute. You look like shit. You're the ugly duckling of the group. But hey, you know what they say, don't judge a book by its cover or its similar appearance to shit. Let's start off with the double bubble bubble gum. I like this color the most. It's the most like authentic looking. But again, that could have nothing to do with the flavor. It just means that the dye went well. It's the most vibrant. I think it would look really good when making a cocktail with it because it'll make the cocktail a pretty pink color. Now the bazooka bubble gum looks a lot more red in my opinion. If you're looking for a color aesthetic, it's gonna look more cherry, but it might taste good. Bazooka bubble gum is bomb. The hubba bubble bubble gum, I love the color of it. It's real, real pink and real, real pretty, but do you see all that shit? 
it's it's got it's made with something that's separated in there. I know a lot of y'all are scientists, and you're gonna tell me what it is. I don't give a fuck. I'm trying to drink this. There's just like a lot of extra shit in there that I don't want to deal with. So I'm probably gonna have to filter that one. I'm I'm drinking in this video, by the way. This is my first drinking video back. We're taking sips. We're not getting drunk. Calm down. Don't get nervous. Michael's drinking again. Uh oh. I warned you. <laughs> I warned you. It's just a sip. It's not even enough to deal with one of my problems. Next up, we have the Trident Bubblegum. This also has a really, really nice pigment. I'm talking about it like it's like a beauty channel. Look at that shit. For little pieces, it did real, real good. And it didn't separate. It didn't like get all fucked up. This is fun to do just for like shots. I mean, yeah, we're probably gonna make a cocktail with it. Whatever one I like the most, I'm probably gonna make some kind of cocktail with it. But you spent five days to make this. There shouldn't be any more preparation involved. <laughs> At that point, you just put it in your mouth. If I have to work too hard for it, I'm not gonna put it in my mouth, Adam. Who's Adam? Now let's talk about fruit stripes. First of all, why is a zebra a mascot for bubblegum? I don't know what kind of marketing sense was made there, but let's talk about it. Okay, so we all know what happens when you mix up a lot of colors. You get this shitty color. It literally looks like diarrhea. This is not the color I want, and it's gonna be hard for me to cover up when making a cocktail. I also don't really know if I want to be doing shots of this. But you guys, want this is your fault. You wanted this. This was your idea. <laughs> So it's fine. You know what? You have to live with your choices. If I ever go to jail, please send me a clip of saying that. <laughs> when I inevitably get canceled, please send me the clip of me saying that. And when I get pregnant, call Ripley's Believe It or Not. What are you doing sending me videos of anything? What? Let's get a shot glass. Did it. All right, first up, we're gonna taste the double bubble vodka bubblegum infusion. Oh, it smells like bubblegum. <gasps> You know what it smells like? It smells, it smells like the bubblegum fluoride that you get at the dentist. I haven't gotten my teeth cleaned in a shocking amount of time. <laughs> but you know when you go to the dentist and you have the option to pick a flavor for whatever it is that they do with your mouth and you could pick bubblegum flavor? That's what this smells like. I have high hopes. We're just gonna do a little bit. Just like a little taste test. All right, that looks pretty. Very like Barbie. All right, let's taste it. Cheers. Oh, 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 that's real, real good. Oh, that's better than I thought it would be. Oh, that's dangerous. Get it away from me. Get it away from me. I don't need to chase her. Oh, that's so good. I was expecting it to burn or suck. Normally my infusion videos suck. That's really good. <laughs> it got rid of the burn. It went down smooth. And this isn't nice vodka. This is literally Smirnoff. It's like cheap shit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Starting off really, really strong. It's gonna be hard to beat this. I am impressed. It's easy. The color is great. The taste is great. The smell is great. Okay, bitch. Next up, we got Bazooka Bubblegum. Now, Greg from How to Drink suggested this. If it's not the best, it means Greg is a scammer. Everybody unfollow Greg and follow me. No, I'm kidding. If Greg is wrong, it means that you have to go on a date with me. We don't have to touch or do nothing. We could just look at each other and laugh. All right, let's smell it. Okay, it smells not bad. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell as good as the other one. You could smell the alcohol a lot more prominently. Let's give it a little shake before I give it a taste test. Slosh it around. Pour in just a little sample. Okay, that's enough. Do you see what I mean about it being really, really bright red and not like a bubblegum flavor? It would, it gives me more like cherry or strawberry. But hey, let's see if it tastes good. Cheers. Okay, it's also good. Goes down smooth, takes away the bite completely. It's a little more tart. Like, I wanna say I could taste the alcohol a minute amount more than the first one. The first one, I couldn't taste shit. This one, you get a little bit of a, oh yeah, that's vodka. But honestly, nothing really to complain about. Okay, all right, bitch. Next up, let's go with Trident Bubblegum with the classic bubblegum flavor. One of my favorite colors. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, it smells very bubblegummy, but I definitely smell the vodka. This, I don't know if it'll flavor it as much as the other ones, just because the quantity was less. I put in the same amount of pieces. I don't know, I was trying to do some kind of science. I know people in the comments are gonna be like, the mass of the bubble gum was more in the other. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. We're drinking bubble gum vodka. We're not at a science fair. <laughs> Let's pour it in a shot glass, see what it looks like. Oh, it looks very, it's very clear, very pretty. I like this, it matches my shirt the most. But does it taste good? That's the real test. Let's see, three, two, one, cheers. Ooh, 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 ah, ooh, 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 ee, ooh, ah, ah, bing, bing, walla, walla, bing, bang. Oh, that was really, really good. And because it's got a little bit of a mint, there's a little bit of mint in there, like a lot of Trivent flavors have. It's that bubblegum flavor that I loved with the first one, but it was refreshing. There was no bite. Ow, oh my God, oh my God. Do I like you or the first one better? 
I don't know. The first one might have been a little bit sweeter, but I love the little bit of mint in there. Oh, that's dangerous. These are gonna be dangerous. But it's fun finally having like stuff in my house that people actually want to drink instead of shit that looks gross. I do a healthy medium here. We do good things and bad things and things that are concerning. Next up, Hubba Bubba, which on its own is my personal favorite bubble gum. When I was younger, I used to love the Hubba Bubba strawberry flavor, but I'm doing like traditional bubble gum flavor today, so I just went with that. Like I said, it did separate the most because it's some kind of science, stop. But I do love that cover and I normally love this the best. So I'm gonna filter it real quick and then we'll check it out in a shot. First off, how does it smell? Oh, it smells, huh. You could smell the bubble gum, it just doesn't have a strong aroma, I guess you could say. Okay, so I filtered some out in the glass and now let's see if it passed the taste test. Okay, it's good. It is in no means bad, but I taste the alcohol the most. I do, I taste the alcohol the most. I don't know what kind of science is going on. I'm not here to explain to you why that's happening. I'm just telling you what it tastes like. I'm doing the shit so you don't have to. I'm saving you fucking time. <laughs> it's fine. You could do this. It is just not the best, which is a bummer. It's my favorite on its own, but when it comes to this specific infusion, maybe not the one you want to go with. Good to know. See, I'm helping the world. Some people's drinking habits destroy families. Mine can slightly make your day better when you're making a bubblegum vodka shot on the off chance. <laughs> and finally, if this one is good, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed because it's gonna catch me off guard. The fruit stripes! Now we know I don't like the look of this, but let me smell it. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. It does smell like more fruity and tropical, but that is to be expected because the flavors are all fruity and tropical. <laughs> but you guys wanted this. Michael, you should have separated the flavors and No! Who has the time? What normal person has the I have nothing but time. This is literally all I do. <laughs> but whatever, let's fucking, we're gonna fucking taste it. So you got this, which is the color of unprepped douche water. And let's just go ahead and taste it. It's the last one. Let's see what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's not good. <laughs> it tastes like it's old because it probably is. <laughs> it tastes like the candies you get at your grandma's house. <laughs> you know, the ones that you don't want, but you settle for. That's this. Okay. Well, no surprise there. You know what? You tasted better than I thought you would. You ever hook up with somebody and you're like, that wasn't bad. I'm not coming back, but that wasn't bad. <laughs> Let's just go down and rate them from worst to best. I already have this in my hand. It's not going anywhere. It is the worst. <laughs> It's not bad, it's just, it's not good. I would give this a two out of five. The gum is good on itself. Just for infusion, there's a lot of different flavors. You'd have to spend a lot of time that I'm not gonna do, and then I'd have to have more glasses. I'm not gonna do that shit. And I don't think you, I'm trying to find the, I'm, you all are just as lazy as I am. You ain't slick, okay? You feel the same way. We ain't doing that, we don't got time, and the taste wasn't good enough to even put in that much effort, so you get two out of five stars. Wow, we caboodles. Fourth place. Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba might be my favorite gum, but when it comes to infusing, whatever goes into the process of making this didn't really let the flavor absorb as much as the other one. It's pretty, but you have to spend time separating it. And the taste isn't really that pungent. Is that the right word? Did I do a smart? I'm gonna give this three out of five. Third place, Bazooka Bubble Gum. This was good. I didn't like the color as much as the other ones, but that doesn't mean anything. It was sweet, it went down easy, but I tasted the alcohol just a little bit, which some people like. I would rate this though, four out of five stars. It wasn't bad at all. If you have this line around, a great choice. As long as you're not looking to make a cocktail that has that signature pink bubblegum look. And now for the finale. I'm torn. I don't know what to do. Both of these, I rate five out of five. I love the color. I love the taste. I love the smell. It was easy. It is affordable. Trident and Double Bubble, out of these options, are the best bubble gums to infuse with vodka. They both get five stars, but I would use them personally for two different things. When it comes to shots alone, like you just want to infuse some vodka with bubble gum and take shots, I would go with the Trident because it has that little extra mint. It's just as sweet, basically. It looks cute and it's fun, sweet, and refreshing. I would use this, however, for making cocktails. The color is more vibrant, it's sweeter, and it's a better overall base for bubblegum flavored cocktails. You don't have to add in any simple syrup, it's already sweet. If you wanna add in mint, you have that option. But I'm gonna use this 
to make a cocktail. How about we make like a simple bubblegum martini? We could do that, we could do that one, two, three. Y'all were great, but I got my post nut clarity, you gotta go. Okay, so I've decided to play around with this cocktail. I don't wanna make something basic that you could find anywhere. Let's try something fun, but still simple. So in your cocktail shaker, you're gonna add in two ounces of the bubblegum infused vodka. I love how vibrant that color is. Next, I'm gonna add in about an ounce of lemon juice, just to give it a little kick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in about half an ounce of this lavender simple syrup, which I still wanna make a video making different flavor simple syrups. If you wanna make this yourself instead of buying it, it's literally just equal parts water and sugar with some lavender. Heat it up, let it cool off, and then you got this. But we're just gonna put in a very minimal amount because the vodka itself is already very sweet. I just wanna give it some of that lavender flavor. Now I'm gonna shake this up good. I'm gonna put this in a coupe glass just because I like the way it looks. No other reason other than that, but it's my house, I get to do whatever I want. Strain your bubblegum cocktail into your glass. Ah, oh my God. Leave a little room at the top. And now I'm gonna do something fun. Putting in two dashes of floral bitters. Maybe that was three, I don't know, I can't count. I'm gonna put on a skewer of the bubble gum just to make it cute and high. Look at this bitch. I like this because you could stir your cocktail with the bubble gum. Keep the flavor in there, play with it. I don't know, it's fun. But what does it taste like? That's the big thing, right? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. That is good as fuck. It's sweet and refreshing. Can't taste any alcohol. I could chug that shit right now, but I'm not gonna because I have self-control. Oh, this is fun. I love when things work out. Okay. Mm. Well, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about bubblegum flavored vodka and what kind of infusion videos I should make next. Also, if you would like to see more content, don't forget to have a podcast with Mac, Messy with Mac and Mike. We go live every Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody, I'm Mac of GTV, and you're fucking welcome. <laughs>